In this computer science challenge, you are being asked to write an efficient function in C that reverses the words in a given string. And this is how it works. You are being given a string, which in C is an array of characters. So this is the input to your function. And what your function will have to output is the reverse of that string. And it will have to store it in the same array. So it will have to take that string and somehow reverse the words within that string and store it within the same array it was given and output that array. So let's look at an example here. Suppose this was a string that was given to your function. This is a string, a string to be reversed. Then the output of your function will have to be the following. Reversed b to string, a string the is this. Doesn't really make sense, but what we essentially did is that we took this last word within the string and we placed it at the very beginning of our output string. Then we took the second to last and we put it at the second position of the output string and so on and so forth until we got to the very first word in our in our original string and this one occupied the last position in our output string. So what we essentially did is that we reversed the word in that given string. And we and that output string overwrites the, the array that we were passed, and this will be our output. Uh, keep in mind that punctuation is part of a word, so what determines the end of a word and the start of a word are basically spaces. So this punctuation, semicolon, is considered a part of this word and in fact associate, is associated with string right here. And so is the dot right here, the period at the end of the sentence is associated with the last word reversed and comes right here and is associated with the reversed in this output string. So your function prototype will be the following. You won't have to return anything because your result will be stored in the string that is being passed to you. So you're just overriding that string with the output and your function will be called reverse string because you're reversing a string and you're being passed a string which is to be reversed and it's an array of characters and your result will be stored within that string so the caller to that method will know that they have to read that string uh, at the end to get their output